Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about Wikilinks in SharePoint. Wikilinks are different than other types of links because they only work within one site. So it's uh, very important that you understand the distinction between a site and a site collection. The ordinary type of link, which you can add by going into the Insert tab on the ribbon right here, and go and insert link from SharePoint or from address. So the address, you can link to anything that has a URL, uh, anything inside or outside SharePoint, doesn't matter. From SharePoint, then you can add links to items that are within this site collection. Wikilinks, on the other hand, they don't have a UI up here. You actually have to type in the syntax for a Wikilink, and that syntax is the square bracket. So you type that in, and then you get some suggestions, and those suggestions are the pages that are available within this site, and also, as you see down here, the lists and the views available. So if I want to link to the financing page, like that, I just double click that, and there you have a link. So I'm just going to save that now. And there you have the one type of wiki link, the link to an existing page. And that works as you see. You can also add a, a link to a page that doesn't exist, which is kind of unique. So if I do one here that's called um, New Projects, like that. Item does not exist. Yes, that's correct. And then now if I save this, you'll notice that this is not you know, an ordinary link. This is a dashed link. And if you notice down in the left corner there, you'll see that the link is pointing to a new project, ASPX page, that does not yet exist. But if I click this link now, it'll ask me, do you want to create this? Yes, I do. And now, of course, this page gets created in the site pages library. And then you can start typing about your different projects right here. So there you have the second type of wiki link, the existing page and the new page. Let's go in now and link to a library too. It's the same principle. You type your two square brackets and then you can just click or go with the keyboard down to the list here and then press tab and then you get an autocomplete with all the different document libraries and lists that are available in this site. Now, if you tab again on the documents here, you actually can link to a document too. I'll do that next time. And finish with my two square brackets, like that. And if you see, that works too. And I can just click that and I'm back there. So let's try linking to a document also. Same principle, a list, documents, and I can just say, and type the C, which is the first letter of one of my documents. So I can just go to the, or actually it's um, something that's contained within. See, it takes specification two, which has a C in it. So let's have the C-sharp language specification there, which is always fun. Uh, and square brackets, finishing that off, and just save. And there you see the C-sharp language specification doc. I'm going to go ahead, if you want to modify that, the caption, you see, I, it actually inserted a um, pipe symbol there. Um, whatever comes after the pipe symbol, that's what will be displayed. So if you remove this part, the link will still work, but it won't display the .doc at the end there. Okay, and you can, of course, use that in your own links, too. So if you want to change something here, just do the pipe and our new projects list or something like that. Right. So the final thing, I'm just going to add a little, an app here for task management. And then I'm going to just add a task here in that. And I'm going to show you that you can actually link to items also. Task one. And I'm just going to save that. Now when you go into the finance site here and uh, edit this page again, you can link, link to items too. Now if I do the list there and the tasks, and I get the link there, task one, you can link to that too. You see again it inserted the pipe symbol and uh, that links to task one. And this link is 
such a beautiful link that it actually opens the task right in a dialog on top of the page, which is rather tricky to do without a wiki link. So uh, that concludes my demonstration on wiki links. Thank you for watching.